Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and we're doing more of these how-to series of, you know, how to target specific uh, game fish here in Florida, you know, our educational series. And uh, today what we're going to focus on is redfish. So probably one of the most sought after fish in Florida, I guess because you can catch them everywhere in Florida. A lot of these like snook and other ones you can't really catch, you know, in the colder water up in the northern part of Florida. but Redfish are real popular, so I'm going to give you my opinion on the um, best way to catch a redfish. So here we go. First of all, if you're going to catch something, you got to know what they like. Redfish like mangroves. So if you're down south in the Everglades or as far up as mangroves go uh, in Florida, you want to target mangroves. They're going to be up in the mangroves. So if your bait, if you throw a bait up there, it better be within a foot or two of the mangroves or you're not going to catch a redfish. You have to be extremely close to the mangroves to catch a redfish because that's where they're going to be. Oyster bars. They love oyster bars. They like flipping over to clumps of oysters and getting the mud crabs or marine worms or little fish or whatever is hiding within those oyster clumps. So if you find oyster bars and bait at that oyster bar, chances are there's going to be a big red uh, sitting around there too. You just got to catch them. River mouse, you know, uh, most predators are going to congregate around river mouse because obviously it flushes the bait in, flushes the bait out depending on the tide. So tidal river mouse are a great place uh, to find redfish too, just like any other uh, predator. Same with inlets, same deal. Except inlets are usually deeper, so you're going to have to have... Uh, you know, a lot of weight to get down to an inlet to catch a redfish, you know, get, getting way down there. And you can also catch them off the beaches, you know, when, when the bait schools are running up and down the beaches of Florida, there's reds out there. So you can catch a red right off the beach, you know, you don't have to uh, stalk them in the shallow water or anything like that. So they'll, they'll run right up and down the beach with, with all the other predators that are, that are coming and looking for that forage. So here's some of the rigs that I like. Uh, you know, a nose, a nose uh, hooked, uh, whatever, you know, pinfish, mullet will do just fine. Casting right up there into a school. Yeah, you know, if there's a red under there, they'll probably hit it. Uh, a lot of uh, people like to uh, use a jig head set up too. If they're going to cast to piers or docks or some sort of structure, a lot of people will have a nose hooked uh, fish with a, with a jig head. Um, shrimp, you know, live shrimp. You hook them like that, you know, through the tail to make them uh, basically weedless. You know, you have a little split shot over here. That's how I catch most of mine is with a split shot and just a little little hook uh, bouncing along a rocky bottom or some sort of cut between oyster bars or something like that. That's where I catch the lion's share of my, uh, my redfish. Uh, another way to do it, again, is with the jig head. You know, then you don't need the split shot because you already have the weight there. Great for catching reds off docks, piers, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, just another great way to rig it up. Uh, they have four nostrils. So, you know, the olfactory system in a redfish is, is pretty evolved. So the stinkier, the better. So if you want to catch a redfish, throw a chunk of cut mullet up by a mangrove and oyster bar. If they're there, you're going to catch them. Same with ladyfish. Ladyfish is probably the stinkiest one. So ladyfish will catch you a lot of stuff. Uh, same with a the pinfish. They, they'll eat a, a fresh pinfish, you know, fresh dead pinfish too, and fresh dead shrimp, you know. So if they're, if they're around there, you know, and they can beat the catfish to it or whatever other uh, <laughs> you know, fish are around there you don't want to catch, you know, fresh dead shrimp's going to work just fine. Uh, as far as lures go, you know, I don't really talk about lures when I do these how-to I think everyone knows to match the hatch. So if, if it's a school of mullet you're fishing, well, you probably want a lure that looks kind of like a mullet. Could be a soft plastic, could be a, a hard bait, you know, some sort of stick bait, whatever it is, you always want to match the hatch. You know, so if you're fishing, you know, an area and there's little bitty pilchards like this, well, you probably want a bait that's probably about that size. And you'd be amazed how picky they are. If the bait is this big and you throw something this big, you're probably not going to catch anything. Predators are smart. They're going to look at that and go, oh, that's weird. Why is that guy so different from all the other ones? So 
you know, as far as lure fishing, you know, for redfish, anything goes. They love gold spoons, you know, it, anything goes with, with, with a redfish because they really like to eat. If there's a redfish around and you can get a bait near him, he's probably going to eat it. So it's not like redfish are hard to catch. So you just got to find them first. But that's it. That's today's lesson about how to the best way to catch a, a, a redfish, at least in my opinion, the best way to catch a redfish. Uh, you can see more of this, you know, our site, uh, www.fishyourassoff.com, has a whole how-to section, has a where-to section, has a what-to section, has videos. Uh, there's all kinds of educational information on that website as far as targeting fish in Florida. It's Florida-centric. It only talks about Florida fishing. But, uh, you know, most of this information I'm talking about here is actually on the website as well. So. It's a good resource for you if you're just learning how to fish or you've been fishing for a while and you just want to hear something new. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you learned something and I especially hope you catch a lot more fish. So until next time, we'll see you. All right, bye-bye.